Bajo cutting that uh, buoy tight out of the north corner. Moving down to the end of lap number four in first place. Wahoo, the boat owned by Bill Bourne Jr., 500 feet away from the finish line of his fourth lap in first place. End of the lap for Wahoo, the leader in each one A. The second flag is coming up for the lead boat. And it's Wahoo. He comes down to the 1,000 foot mark. He's 500 feet away from the win in heat 1A. Your lead boat, Wahoo, driven by Mira Slovak, the winner of heat 1A. Here comes the Miss Wahoo. She's all by herself. The Bardo is coming real hard in the outside corner. Here comes Miss Seattle. It's Wahoo. Bardo. Miss Seattle. Rocket is last. And Gale 5 is fourth. Now let's see how they go to the south turn. Into the south turn. It was Wahoo on the inside corner planning his start beautifully. Getting off right on the money. He is into the corner first. Now let's see if he comes out of the corner first. The first of ten times around the course. 30 miles. Heat 1A. On the inside corner, we have the um, Bardal. Bardal is first, and the Wahoo is second. It is Bardal coming out of the south corner now, and it is uh, Wahoo on the inside corner, and coming up real hard in uh, third place is the Gale 5. Now the Miss Seattle has come up and taken over in third place. Wahoo makes a bit now, draws up dead even with her on the outside corner. We'll clock them as they go down in a nose for nose. Bardal running hard on that inside corner. And Wahoo starts to move out in front. Mira Slovak on the third lap makes his move. He moves into first place on the outside. Now let's see if he can cut over. He must give uh, a rooster tail room to the Bardal. And the Bardal stays tight on that inside corner. Norm has an advantage there if he can hold to it. Bardal 128. Up that back stretch. Here comes Mira Slovak cutting hard now in this third time around the course. Heat 1A, four boats are left as the uh, third place boat starts to come up the back stretch. That's Gale 5. And in fourth place, just running out of the south corner is the Miss Rocket. It is Wahoo coming out of the turn now as Norm Evans almost tipped over. It's Wahoo taking over in first place at the end of lap three at the 1,000 foot mark. Wahoo in first place, Bardall in second. Wahoo leading. Miss Bardall second. And Wahoo is now in first place, Bardall is second. Two seconds behind. So the two boats have changed position. And Wahoo moves away from him like he was pinned to a post as he approaches the south corner. 
Has to deceleration point, moving in on buoy number one. Your lead boat going into the north turn. She has lapped Gale 5, she has lapped Miss Rocket. The, uh, Gale 5 is in third place, and Rocket is in fourth place in heat 1A. The checkered flag is coming up for the lead boat. Miss Wahoo, she comes down to the 1,000 foot mark. She's 500 feet away from the wind in heat 1A. Your lead boat, Wahoo, driven by Mira Slovak, the winner of heat 1A. So back to home base for Mira Slovak as he makes his first turn out here of the afternoon, a winning one. Well, I say that the pattern has stayed just about the same that a lot of the so-called experts anticipated that this heat section 1A would go. And that would be Mira Slovak in Wahoo. A lot of feeling about Mira Slovak down here. He's the young man whom some of you know, I'm sure, but perhaps others don't, who flew a communist plane out of Czechoslovakia with some 20 plus people on board and made his escape to freedom in the West. Mira has certainly become not only a, a part of seafair and hydroplanes, but a part of an American heritage too. Anyone as fine and outstanding a fellow as Mira is one whom you also like to see win. Now, live and direct through the facilities of WAML-TV, the 1959 President's Cup hydroplane race from the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. Brought to you by the makers of Mission Macaroni products and Riceroni. You can always be sure of chef's quality macaroni when you reach for Mission. We take you now direct to Washington, D.C. and the WMAL-TV special events crew. Point here on the Potomac River and welcoming you to the 28th annual running of the President's Cup Regatta. And of course, power boats galore and the main interest, the race coming up in just about nine minutes, that is the unlimited hydroplanes. It's a beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. The sun is shining brightly, the temperature just about 70 degrees. There is a pretty good breeze blowing up from the river, blowing upriver from the south. Uh, the wind coming about out of the southeast at about 12 to 15 miles an hour. And of course, this wind very definitely will have a bearing on the running of this race today and the handling of the boats. The race, of course, a total of 45 miles. We had the first two heats yesterday, each heat being a 15 miles duration apiece, five times around this three mile course. The boat that is number one in points is Miss US-1 with 800 points, owned by George Simon of Detroit, driven by Don Wilson of Detroit. The number two boat, Wahoo, with 700 points, owned by Bill Boeing, Jr. of Seattle, driven by Myro Slovak, of course, uh, the Czechoslovakian, and now registered out of Seattle. Now the boats again down at the far turn, there is the warning gun, giving them one minute before the start of the race, and they'll be cruising down as you can watch the clock ticking off the seconds. That's the big clock that the boys in the boats will be looking at themselves, and they'll be coming down for the flying start for the finals now of the President's Cup Regatta. Bill, this is a very important part of the race right here, is it not getting that uh, over a, the finish line? That's over the starting, the starting line, line, about half the race, I believe. The boat, the, the fast boat gets over early. He's just awfully hard to pass, awfully hard. I don't know whether the Bardal, uh, they won the flip, of course, with the Hawaii Kai to see if they were the alternate boat in the event that one of the six did not start. I believe, though, all original six are out there, so the Bardal will still be at the beach. I think so. I was watching them as they uh, came by, and I saw all boats that uh, Looks uh, like a pretty good start coming. Yep, yeah, they're all coming. I don't know what the time is, but... And they're really starting to pour it on now, kicking up those rooster tails. Let's see how they come across this the starting line. This is Chuck uh, Thompson there on the inside. Here comes the U.S. with a beautiful start on the U.S. The U.S., of course, is ahead with Miro Slovak uh, right behind him. And it looks like Miro Slovak in the Wahoo is overhauling the U.S. Chuck Thompson on the inside has been left behind there. They're really having trouble down on that turn. The water's very choppy. I can see on our monitor here as they are really bouncing those bonsons from side to side. Unofficially, uh, whichever boat wins between the U.S. and the Wahoo will win the race, even though we'll go into a time, uh, uh, time deal. Uh, the way it works out is the Wahoo has better time and uh, will probably win the race if she wins, or if the U.S. wins, then she'll have it on points. On points. Here comes, Miss, here comes the race for first Now look right at now. Wahoo uh, overhauling the U.S., going very fast. They're both probably going close to 170 miles an hour, and the Wahoo is passing the U.S. And the U.S. is on the inside, a very bad spot to be when you're going into that turn, because he may have to go through the Wahoo's rooster tail there. 
The U.S. spun out in the turn slightly. The U.S. spun out, now it's picking up again. He hooked on a wave. The Wahoo now is way ahead, but when the U.S. hooked in that turn inside the Wahoo, it slowed him down considerably. Of course, he's lucky he wasn't upside down like I was. I think Bob Pickett just mentioned the fact that the Wahoo set the uh, new course record yesterday right. in addition to the uh, the lap record. That is That's the race true. I, I think that all the records are being broke in this race and uh, considerably, not by just a small fraction of a mile an hour. They're being well broken by uh, several miles an hour. So this, this U.S. went through second. This is Miss Detroit coming through third. And we'll get the fourth, fifth, and sixth boats as they come through. Our cameras are now following the leader, who is going down the back stretch. Boy, that uh, Myra Slovak is really pouring it through, isn't he? That's right, and Merrill would rather win this race, I believe, than any other race in the country. He's a Czech refugee. Uh, he was brought into the country by a special bill. Uh, the president signed this bill and also made it possible for Miro as an alien to fly airplanes commercially. He currently works for Continental Airlines. And uh, this race means an awful lot to Miro. Uh, he's a very popular person in the racing business. Everyone likes Miro, and uh, it's uh, real nice if he wins this for him, I know. The U.S. took a terrible bounce down there. We do have some word, unofficially, but I think we'll just ignore that word until we get something more definite as to the condition of Don Wilson and Miss U.S. One, who was thrown out of his uh, boat as he went uh, through that up, well, up river turn. It looks like the, uh, to get back to the actual finish of the race itself, it looks like Wahoo uh, with Myra Slovak. He uh, set out to accomplish what he did set out to do. It looks like he has won the race. And, of course, Miss U.S. One, who was pressing all the way, uh, was eliminated on that last lap when uh, Don Wilson left the cockpit in that far turn. And it's entity, that cruiser coming up on your screen right now is the Queen's Cruiser. And the uh, queen of this President's Cup regatta, Miss Nancy Priest, the daughter of the treasurer of the United States, is aboard. And she'll be coming up here to uh, congratulate the winner, again unofficially at this time, Myra Slovic. And so from Haynes Point in Washington, D.C., this is the 1959 President's Cup regatta. The bright emotional spot of the 59 season occurred at the President's Cup race on the Potomac. The race was won by Miro Slovak in Bill Boeing's Miss Wahoo, named incidentally after Wahoo, Nebraska, the hometown of Boeing's wife. Slovak has been a popular favorite wherever he's raced and was the subject of a This Is Your Life show originated through King facilities. Miro had not won too many races, but that 59 President's Cup was the one he wanted most. This was the one which gave him the opportunity to shake hands with President Eisenhower to say thanks for his new life in America. Through the turn they go. You see on the outside, uh, Muncie is in Thriftway and Wahoo is on the inside this time, having come through his wake. Let's see if uh, he can possibly make a challenge. It's still Miss Thriftway on the outside leading and Wahoo coming in good shape and making a challenge. Mira Slovak does not want to finish second to Bill Muncie, and let's see if he can take him. This is a real boat race now on the back stretch. Look at him go in the chute. Now let's see if Muncie can possibly cut him off on the turn. They're close. The lighter colored boat is Thriftway with Bill Muncie. The darker colored boat is Wahoo with Mira Slovak. And it's a rough ride through that turn for Wahoo, and Muncie is going to gain ground on the turn, it appears from here. But Wahoo came across the wake and is coming on the inside now. Let's see what's happening. Oh, and they're going to come close, and Wahoo cut in front of Muncie. Oh, he cut in front of him, and now he's on the outside, and Wahoo has taken the lead, and Thriftway has eaten water and may go dead. It is dying, and here comes Wahoo across the finish line, leading after lap two. And I imagine Mr. Muncie has quite some thoughts to himself right now, but he's got her going again. Muncie is... 11 seconds behind now, and there goes Smith Thriftway trying to pursue Mira Slovak. You're looking at the lead boat, Miss Seattle 2. Going back through the field, the second place boat is, it's Wahoo with Mira Slovak, can barely see another boat through the spray and I can't even develop it, uh, see it now, it's Miss Spokane, the Lilac Lady, and running fourth is Breathless. 
And running far behind is Colroy. And now there's been a, uh, one of the boats has had something happen to it. Which one is it? And the race is being stopped. The race is being stopped by the players. It's Wahoo with Mira Slovak who's in the drink. He has been thrown into the water and the race is being stopped before the completion of the first lap. And the red uh, smoke flares are up. The, uh, the red smoke flares are in action. Now well, let's get down on the course. And there are the other boats uh, nearby to lend assistance and the Coast Guard craft are coming up, other patrol boats. We've had a mishap uh, three quarters of the way through lap one of Heat 1B. In Heat 1B, the boats had almost completed the first lap and were coming out of the final turn when Miss Wahoo, running in second position to Miss Seattle 2, suddenly flipped, throwing Mira Slovak, her driver, into the water. Latest reports from Virginia Mason Hospital indicate that Slovak is in satisfactory condition, suffering from internal injuries, the extent of which are as yet not definitely known. <laughs> 